In the name of God, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Your Excellency, Mr. Vladimir Putin, the Honorable President of the Russian Federation, distinguished heads of BRICS member states, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I am today we have convened the first summit meeting of the new or otherwise expanded BRICS, while many of the hopes for a more just, secure and prosperous world in the post-Cold War era have not been afforded the opportunity to be fulfilled as aspirations for dominance and unilateralism continue to threaten, like a deadly plague, the foundations of global peace and cooperation. Over the three decades since the collapse of the bipolar system, it has become a abundantly clear that the Western powers have it that peace, democracy, prosperity and development can only be achieved through the pathways that they define and assign. The upshot of this monopolistic worldview thus far has been but a surge in violence, war and terrorism on the one hand, and unprecedented recourse to economic and political sanctions on the other. According to statistics, the United States alone has imposed three times as much as many sanctions on other countries of the world in the past year, two years, than the entire stretch of the last decade. The flip side of the coin of Western unilateralism has been the outbreak of various wars, the most oppressive and excruciating of which are currently unfolding in the occupied Palestine and Lebanon. The formation, continuance and expansion of BRICS over the past 15 years have proffered the countries and the global community an opportunity to not tether their destinies to the sole dictates of Western powers and to pave ways for broader participation of all emerging powers in global economic governance. In the early years following the establishment of BRICS, the, um, or the new payment systems independent of dollar need be strengthened. The independent countries can no longer indemnify the United States for its unsound financial policies or its failure to combat systemic corruption in its financial sector. The world today faces numerous challenges, including food security, climate change, debt crises, the north-south divide, to name a few. Addressing these issues, which have disproportionately exposed the developing countries and the global south to tension and harm, must go through the active participation of these nations. The BRICS Alliance ought to pursue with higher vigor its cause of making the voices of the unheard echo throughout the global community and effectively follow up on its dialogue mechanisms with other countries. We believe in BRICS ideals of reforming global governance, multilateralism, promoting peace, security and inclusive economic growth, and fostering transparency and democracy in global financial institutions. For its part, the Islamic Republic of Iran will make every effort to ensure that BRICS, aloof from politicization and geopolitical conflicts, successfully navigates the tasks of reforming the global economic governance structure and creating alternative opportunities for the development and prosperity of the global south. With the inclusion of new members, BRICS institutions such as the New Development Bank and the Contingency Reserve Arrangement ought to assume greater responsibility for financing member countries' projects and addressing payment imbalances. 
guided by the core principles of sound competition and mutual cooperation, each BRICS member should view the progress and development of other members as its own. BRICS is not meant to serve as merely a conversation club. Its decisions have the back, should have the backing of execution guarantees and anticipation of apt tools that can help them materialize. The growth of the level of economic cooperation, including the volume of investment and mutual trade among BRICS members, can be used as a benchmark to annually assess the degree of BRICS success or failure. To this end, it is imperative that a center for collecting, aggregating, and evaluating member states' economic data be established. Such a center can pursue multiple objectives from collecting um, customs data, and it can um, to creating tracking and tracing systems for products, establishing a common digital platform for registering and exchanging tax data, and shared data platforms for financial and commercial analysis using data mining and artificial intelligence technologies. It can um, help operate transit routes which will reduce delivery delays, and these are topics that merit more attention in BRICS decision-making. As I conclude, I should like to express my appreciation to the people and government of Russia for organizing this summit and for having taken on the weighty responsibility of presiding over BRICS in 2024. Once again, I would like to underline that achieving widespread and global economic prosperity and development goes through universal peace and security. Yet, what we are witnessing today in Palestine and Lebanon is the deepening of the footing of war and violence through disregard for the fundamental rights of the peoples who want nothing more than the right to sovereignty over their ancestral lands. The continuation of the ongoing situation will indubitably continue to push the world closer to the risk of widespread insecurity and war. Therefore, I call on all the distinguished members of this valuable and influential BRICS to marshal all their collective and individual capacities to introduce change to the situation, to put an end to war in Gaza and Lebanon, and to reduce tensions in our region. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you again.